Samsung just gave Apple a huge surprise. What's up guys, it's time to kick off the April Fool's Day in the most perfect way possible. There cannot be a better video than this. Samsung's genius move has finally paid off. During the end of 2020, Samsung actually lost its number one position to Apple when it comes to global shipment. Apple was downright unstoppable with crazy iPhone 12 success. Not a lot of people expected the iPhone 12 series to do that well, but Samsung saw it coming. In order to combat the unstoppable iPhone 12 sales, they launched the Galaxy S21 series one month earlier than their usual time. And boy oh boy, this was a baller move. According to the market research, Samsung, because of this early S21 launch, has regained its number one position from Apple. It was a tough battle, Samsung barely beat Apple, they shipped 24 million units versus 23 million shipments of Apple. Just imagine, if Samsung launched the S21 lineup at their usual timeline, Apple would still be number one. We gotta give it to Samsung, well played this move, was insane. Now Xiaomi was able to regain third position followed by Vivo and Oppo. Also in the news, Samsung and Google's partnership is very very real and it's very very deep. According to Max Weinbach, who's been spending a lot of time digging through the APK code of Samsung's variable app, he found some interesting stuff. The code name Water was mentioned, which is Samsung's reference to Wear OS. This is again further confirmation that Samsung is indeed ditching their own baby OS, the Tizen OS that they worked on for so long, polishing it only to switch to Google's Wear OS. Now apart from this, the code has also revealed another surprise and that is Galaxy Buds 2. The successor to the Galaxy Buds Pro is coming later down the year, probably gonna be introduced alongside the Galaxy Fold lineup. Also in the news, Galaxy A82 is very real and it's coming very soon. We have a new specs leak via Google Play console, revealing some key details that we already know. So the device is actually Galaxy A82. It's gonna be coming in South Korea as Galaxy A Quantum 2 with that quantum chip. For the specs, we'll be looking at a full HD plus display, Snapdragon 855 plus processor with Android 11 running the show. Based on this leak, we can assume that the launch is happening soon for the Galaxy A82. Now speaking of launches, Xiaomi is about to launch its Mi 11 Ultra in international markets starting with India. On 23rd of this month, Xiaomi will be bringing its ultimate all-out ultra flagship to challenge the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Now for our final story, this is just sad. LG is officially ending its smartphone business. According to industry sources, an official announcement could come as soon as April the 5th. LG already tried to sell a smartphone business, but no one is buying. What's even worse is that LG might discontinue software updates for its existing smartphones. So if you have an LG phone, you may not receive any software update ever again. It's a very sad situation. I mean, they weren't having any success lately, but they were still going and working on a rollable smartphone. But all of that that is now scrapped. LG will officially decide what to do with their smartphone decision on April 5th. Insiders are saying that they'll be directing their smartphone division team to home appliances and other areas of the company. Overall, very sad news. LG, a legendary brand. And uh, yeah, it's truly the end of an era. So that's all the latest news. A bit of a depressing end to an exciting video. As much as I'm happy for Samsung, I'm sad for LG. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.